If you've watched the Pokemon anime for a season or two, at some point, you've probably noticed that Ash is not quite like the other kids. He's a little... different. Well, in this video, we're going to break down just how different Ash's physicality is from the rest of the world and ask the question, why? We will observe Ash's alpha athleticism in the following categories. First, his horizontal jump. Second, his vertical jump. Third, Ash's physical strength. And fourth, finally, his physique. First, let's look at Ash's horizontal jump. In this scene, we see that Ash jumps past these boulders that are as big as he is. This may not be all that awe-inspiring until you realize that Ash is 4 feet and 7 inches tall. In the clip that we see, Ash jumps past 8 boulders using a single foot. This means Ash jumped 36 and a half feet off of one leg. Mike Powell holds the long jump world record at 29 feet. Or at least, he did. This is not the only instance from the show where Ash demonstrates his incredible horizontal jump force. Please observe how Ash jumps this canyon, scales it, and then flips up and over to the top, unstrained by his own feet. Maybe you're impressed. Don't be. Ash's horizontal may actually be the least notable of his physical abilities. We move on to the vertical jump. Even more impressive than Ash's ability to leap out is his ability to leap up. Ash can be found jumping here in this scene from the ground into a hot air balloon. You may be thinking this is a couple hundred feet upward, but a quick Google search will demonstrate just how understated that is. Hot air balloons fly anywhere from 1,000 to 3,000 feet up in the air. The tallest building in the world is the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. It climbs to a towering 2,717 feet tall. It is conceivable then, depending on the height at which Jesse and James are flying, that Ash could jump the tallest building in the world. Again, this is not the only footage which displays the boy from Palatown's unnatural leg strength. In Pokemon Journeys, we find that Ash can comfortably leap from the tops of mountains he has just run up onto the back of an enraged Lugia. Now I know that's a lot, but it gets weirder. Ash's most remarkable physical attribute is his strength. Now we do not have the data here at Berry Berry Bear to tell you how much a tree weighs. All we can tell you is that Ash can throw them. With this in mind, we turn to Pokemon Ash is held and look at the Pokedex data. To begin, Ash can hold a Fletchender out at full armed length. These majestic firebirds weigh in at 35 pounds. It may not be clear how heavy that is, so the Berry Bear community recommends that you go to a gym, find a 35 pound dumbbell, and hold it out at arm's length. We believe that then you will understand the magnificent strength of Ash Ketchum. Moving our way up the ring, Ash can do this again, but not just with a Fletchinder, with a Pig Knight. These flaming swine weigh 122 and a half pounds. Again impressive, but this 12 year old is not even straining himself. Early on in the series, Ash hangs with a Larvitar. Now Larvitar weighs in at 158 pounds, and Ketchup whips that thing around like a sack of flour. Don't be fooled into thinking that it is merely his arms and his legs which are incredibly strong. Ash has such strong neck muscles that he can rest this Hippopotus on his head, and Hippopotus weigh 109 pounds. It is evident that Ash Ketchum is jacked, and Pokemon has left evidence of this even in his physique. For example, note the six pack on this action figure. Or how they drew him in Pokemon Journeys. The data supports that Ash Ketchum is physically on par with some of the greatest heroes in anime. Perhaps someday there will be a crossover and we can learn who would win in a head to head Ash Ketchum or All Might. Still, the question remains. Why does Ash force himself to stay in such great shape? The answer can be found by clicking this video here. 